you are God's creature designed for glory you are not designed for shame returning back in Jesus name I rebuke the devil God is a God of mercy when you understand that God is a God of mercy you are a creature of intention God created you intentionally get set for a moment of empowerment with your host Benjamin Beckley glory be to God hallelujah you are not created to be defeated you are saved by God to be lifted you are redeemed to be more than a conqueror and you shall surely triumph in the precious name of Jesus you are too blessed to be stressed the grace of God rests upon you I decree breakthrough on all side for you in this season in the precious name of Jesus hallelujah welcome to moment of empowerment with Benjamin Beckley I am still your privileged host Benjamin Beckley of the Empowerment Center in Arlington Texas God bless you so so much moment of empowerment is a revolutionary and prophetic broadcast that is designed to empower you towards taking your rightful place in destiny there is a place for you in God there is a place for you on the earth you are designed to be on the earth at such a time as this to make something significant happen you are not positioned on the earth to suffer you are positioned on the earth to be a significant and a relevant force however you need to be empowered for you to take your rightful place in life I pray over you as you watch and listen to me today that you will take your rightful place in the precious name of Jesus glory be to God thank you so much for tuning into this broadcast today I appreciate you appreciate your calls thank you for all your emails thank you for your comments we value it and it's highly appreciated in the precious name of Jesus it's my desire and prayer that God will continue to use this broadcast to be a major blessing to you in the name of Jesus now it's time for us to be empowered afresh right from God's Word and I'd like you to call somebody do me a favor get in touch with somebody that you know needs encouragement someone you know needs divine visitation somebody you know needs to move from where they are to where God wants them to be get them on right now tell them the station you are watching me get them the link to where you are viewing me right now and let them also be blessed call your friends send a text message to them let's all come together let the Word of God cause a change let the Word of God bring forth impact in everyone's life in the precious name of Jesus listen to me every time God's Word gain access into your life it does not leave you the same way it met you God's Word is active God's Word is powerful God's Word is loaded to change circumstances so whenever God's Word gain access into your life it's tears of a change in Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 16 Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 16 the Bible says thy words were found and I did eat them and thy words become unto me joy and the rejoicing of my earth so when you find God's Word when God's word gain access into your life it brings forth a change it's tears of joy it brings of rejoicing it turns sorrowful situation into glorious celebration I don't know where you are but hear me as you connect with God's word today it will bring forth a change of circumstances for you it will stir up a change in your direction there will be joy for every of your sorrow in the precious name of Jesus the days of your morning is over it's your season of joy Bible speaking says weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning this is your morning of joy and I pray for you that every change in God's Word will manifest in your life significantly in the precious name of Jesus now before we go into today's teaching I like to appreciate every of our TV broadcast partner thank you so much for being there thank you we appreciate you thank you for enhancing the advancement of God's kingdom as we take God's Word to the world we thank you for being there for standing with us for supporting in prayers for making donations for being a partner for your monthly commitment I appreciate you the Lord bless you 
and the Lord increase you in the precious name of Jesus. Now, if you desire to be one of our TV broadcast partner, which I do desire that you be a part of, the information will be right on the screen right now. I want you to call the number on the screen, follow the instruction. You can be a partner with any monthly commitment of any amount of money, maybe $20. We have people that partners with $50, $100. Whatever your capacity is, whatever you have for the, whatever is your capacity and what you can afford to support as we advance the kingdom of God and take God's word to the world, you will be highly appreciated. And when you do this, when you call in for any amount, for any donation of any amount this month, I will send you a revelational audio CD package that is entitled Discerning and Defeating Satanic Strategy. I will mail that to you. It's a four-pack CD that is audio CD message that is revelationally and prophetically loaded to empower you towards defeating every of the strategy of the devil and living a triumphant life. Your donation will be highly appreciated. You can call the number on the screen. You can go on the website. Whatever you can, we seek your support as we take God's word to the world. And I know you shall surely be blessed in the precious name of Jesus. Now, today, I shall be rounding up the series of teaching that we started that is entitled, The Secrets of Overcomers. This is going to be the part four of this series, and uh, I'm going to be rounding it up today. Now, in the course of the month, we, we started out by connecting with scriptural revelation on what empowers overcomers to overcome. What are the things that overcomers do that step, steers them up into their realm of overcoming? We have discovered that everyone can overcome, but not everyone will overcome. Everyone can overcome, but not everyone will overcome. Not because it is not possible, but because you got to take a responsibility to overcome. We have discovered that overcomers are those that came over what come against them. Overcomers are those that came over what comes against them. Overcomers don't watch things happen to them. They make things happen within them and around them. We saw by revelation that overcomers are those that shifted from being defeated into being lifted. One of the things we discovered was that overcomers are those that shifted mentally and physically from embracing a defeated mentality or a victim mentality into a victorious mentality. Because if you are defeated mentally, you cannot win physically. If you are defeated mentally, you cannot overcome physically. So we saw also that overcomers are men and women who refuses to remain a victim, but rather they pay the price to stand as victors. So, so far, so good, we have revelationally discovered some secrets that overcomers engage for them to overcome. Number one, we saw that overcomers don't accept defeat. Overcomers don't accept defeat. When you are, you are not defeated until you accept defeat. Overcomers don't work in defeat. Number two, overcomers are solution-minded. They think about solution. They focus on solution. We saw that overcomers also take responsibility to make moves. Overcomers take action. Overcomers make, and we saw all these from the scripture, writing through Revelation on the story of Jabesh. Now, in case you miss any of the episode, you can watch a read broadcast on our website, uh, www.wordrevival.org. Once you get to that website, the information is on the screen. Just click on Empowerment TV Broadcast, then you can watch any of the past edition, it will be a great blessing to you in the precious name of Jesus. Now today, as we round up on this series, I'm going to be looking into a scripture that will guide us into connecting with much revelation on the secrets of overcomers. Listen to me very clearly. Until you access the right revelation, you may remain in the same situation. Until you access the right revelation, you may remain in the same situation. Because revelation is a situation changer. When you gain access to relevant revelation, you can't miss being a relevant entity on the earth. In Ezekiel chapter 2 
And verse 2, the Bible says, And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me, and he set me upon my feet, and I heard him that spake unto me. The Spirit entered into me when I connected with revelation from that who speaks to me, and he set me on my feet. When you get access to relevant revelation, your situation must change when you take responsibility. Now, today, we're going to be looking at some other secrets of overcomers from the book of Numbers, Numbers chapter 13. I read um, from verse 26 to verse 33. It's a long scripture, but I'm going to read it so that we connect with more lights. Numbers chapter 13, verse 26 to verse 33. Now, the Bible says, And they went and came to Moses and to Aaron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel unto the wilderness of Paran, to Kadesh, and brought back word unto them and unto all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. And they told him and said, We came unto the land where you sent us, and surely it flows with milk and honey, and this is the fruit of it. Verse 28. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities are walled and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. Verse 29. The Ammonites dwelt in the land of the south, and the Ittites, and the Jebusites, and the Amorites dwell in the mountains, and the Canaanites dwell by the sea, and by the coast of Jordan. Verse 30. And Caleb still the people before Moses, and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men that went up with him said, We be not be able to go against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they brought up an evil report of the land, which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof. And all the people that we saw in it are men of great status. Now verse 33. And there we saw giants, the sons of Enoch, which came of the giants, and we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. Now, you, you need to understand the, 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 this scripture from verse 1. Because right from verse 1, God had promised the children of Israel that is going to give them a land which is called the land of Canaan. And God said to Moses to send men to go to the land, to spy out the land, to look at the goodness of the land, to consider the land, to create a picture of where God was taking them to. That was the intention of God. Now, so what we saw here was the report that they brought back when they went to the land. And we can discover from there that some people came to say, no, we cannot go. And two people said, yes, we can move forward. Now, in this scripture, there are certain things I want to share with you before we look into some other secrets. Now, one of the things I want to share with you is this, that wherever there are possessions, there will always be opposition. Wherever there are possessions, there will always be oppositions. For every man's possession, there will be something to oppose you. Because to be an overcomer, you must learn how to subdue your opposition and possess your possession. That is one of the things that makes overcomers overcomers. They learn how to subdue opposition and possess their possession. If you will possess your possession expects to subdue opposition because I realize that opposition is an indication that you have a possession. When you look at verse 27, and they said, we came into the land, we saw it flows with milk and on it, and the land has fruit, that is a possession. But in verse 28, he said, nevertheless, the people are strong. They were great. The wall was, oh, they, they, they made a wall. They were the children of Enoch. So they saw the possession. They also saw the opposition. But when you concentrate on the opposition, it will hinder you from possessing your possession. Listen to me. The assignment of your opposition is to deny you access to your possession. But if you will be an overcomer, you must learn to see beyond your opposition into your possession and also to see your provider. If you cannot see beyond your opposition, your chances of possessing your possession is not certain. You must be able to see beyond your opposition if you will possess your possession. 
If you cannot see beyond your opposition, you not may be able to seize your position. If you cannot see beyond your opposition, you may not be able to seize your possession. So understand that opposition is not the end of life. You have a possession. Riding on the wings of revelation from the scripture, they saw their possession, but they, some of them concentrated on the opposition, but two people concentrated on the possession and the provider, and that was how they were able to possess their possession. Somebody is watching me right now. Anywhere you have been opposed, I command your opposition position subdued. I decree grace to possess possession will rest upon you. Whatever they have been striving with you concerning, whatever is standing on your way to getting to where you are going into, whatever is standing against the performance of divine prophecy, I command them to be subdued for you. Oppositions will give way for your possession. You will possess financial possession. You will possess your possession spiritually in the name of Jesus. Hear me? I don't know where you have been striving. They have been struggling with you concerning that promotion. Get ready because the one fighting against you will come down for your sake. You will subdue your opposition and you will take your possession. Glory be to God. So that is one of the things we saw there. Now let me show you some other secrets of overcomers that will empower you. Riding on the wings of revelation from this particular scripture. Now, this will be the number five secret. We have shared four secrets so far. Secret number five of overcomers is this. I saw by revelation that overcomers don't think and talk defeat. Rather, they think and talk about victory. Overcomers don't think and talk about defeat. They take their time to think and talk about victory. You must understand this with me. In life, your thoughts and your confession influences your position. Your thoughts and your confession influences your position. You are where you are today because of two things outside of every other thing. What you say and what you think. If those two things can change, then your life can change. You must understand nobody destinies changes without engaging those two forces. If you will win in life, if you will be defeated in life, these two things must be in place. What you think and what you say. Overcomers don't think and they don't talk about defeat. Rather, they think and talk about victory. What you think and what you say affect where you will stay in life. I need to say that again. What you think and what you say affect where you will stay in life. In Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22, Bible says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. They that love it shall eat the fruit. Death and life lies in your tongue. If you will overcome, you must learn how to use your tongue to speak as an overcomer. Out of all these people, Ten of them, stealth, they were thinking about defeat. They were thinking about the giant. They were talking about the giant. But two people, they overcame, that is talking about Caleb and Joshua, because they refused to think about the impossibility. They were busy focusing and talking about the possibility. When you look at it from verse 28 to verse 31, Numbers chapter 13, the ten other one says, we, the people, are strong that dwell in the land. The cities are very great and they are walled. The Amalekites dwell in the land. But look at verse 30. Caleb stealed the people. He stealed them. He told them to keep their mouth shut because when you keep talking negative, you keep attracting negative events. Caleb said, no, don't talk about that. Look at what Caleb said. Let us go up at once. The same time people were saying we can't, Somebody said we can. Somebody said we can. Overcomers are those that say this and talks, they think about and they talk about victory. They think about and they talk about victory. The Bible says, they said, let us go up and possess it for we are well able to overcome. We are well able to overcome. But look at what happened. The men that went up with them said, no, we cannot go against the people for they are stronger than us. That was why they could not get there. That was why they could not overcome. But Caleb and Joshua got there because they don't think defeat and they were not saying 
anything that looks defeated. I want to challenge you. Stop talking down about yourself. Stop talking yourself down. Stop condemning yourself. Say what God has said and not what the situation is singing. Keep talking about what you want to see. Stop talking about what is happening to you. Talk about what you want to see happen to you. If you will overcome, you must learn how to use your tongue to say what you want to see. We saw here, they said we were well able to go there, and they did. They were thinking about victory because that is one of the secrets of overcomers. In Job chapter 22 verse 29, Bible says when men have been casted down, you will say there is a lifting up. When men have been casted down, use your tongue to say and proclaim where you want to get through. I therefore decree every problem you have put yourself because of your confession. May God make a way of escape for you. May God have mercy upon you in the precious name of Jesus. Stop telling yourself you can't do it. Stop telling Telling yourself you can't stop it. Stop telling yourself you can't go beyond this. Stop telling yourself, stop calling yourself sick. Stop calling yourself dumb. Stop calling yourself a failure. No, you are not. You can't overcome. Start thinking and talking about victory. And you shall surely be victorious. Now let me share with you one more secret. Secret number six that I saw from this scripture is that overcomers have the right perception of their identity and their ability. Overcomers have the right perception of their identity and their ability. When you lose value of who you are, you lose the volume for what you can become in life. When you lose the value of who you are, you lose the volume of what you can become in life. If you don't see yourself the way God sees you, you may not be able to get to where God wants you to get to in life. In life, your perception affects your condition. Your perception, the way you see things, the way you see yourself, the way you see situation, they affect your condition. If situation would change, your perception must change. Overcomers, they know who they are. They see themselves right. But losers always see themselves as losers and they lose. When you look at the text, Numbers chapter 13, 10 of them had the wrong perception of their identity and their ability. From verse 32 to 33, look at what it said. They brought an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel. They said the land where we, we went is a land that eat up the inhabitant. And all the people we saw there, they are men of great status. Look at what they said in verse 33. And we saw giants, the son of Anak, which came of the giants, and we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, so we were in their sight. You, you didn't get that. We, we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, so we were in their sight. Ten of them called themselves grasshoppers. Come on now. They, 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 they lack the right perception of their identity and their ability. And when you have the wrong perception of your identity and your ability, you cannot fulfill in life. You cannot maximize your capacity. You cannot maximize your capacity. No wonder they could not overcome. You know why? Because they saw themselves as grasshoppers. They said we were in our own side grasshoppers, so we were in their side. So grasshoppers cannot win over men. Grasshoppers cannot win over men. Why? Their confession was based on their perception. So when they said in verse 31 that we are not able to go because the people are stronger than us, they know what they were talking about. Because they realized that grasshoppers are not stronger than men. Come on now. So you, there is no way you will see yourself down, pull yourself down, and expect to go up. We need to change our perception. But look at Caleb and Joshua. Caleb and Joshua had the right perception of their identity and their ability. They said we are well able to overcome. Now in, in Numbers chapter 14, verse 6 to 9. Numbers chapter 14, verse 6 to 9. The Bible says Joshua, the son of Nun, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, which were of them that searched the land, rent their clothes when the people brought an evil report. And they speak unto all the company of the children of Israel, saying, The land which we pass through is an exceedingly good land. They kept talking about the good things of the land. Stop talking about the negativity. Start talking about the good thing. They said, If the Lord delight in us, we will bring us, it will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land that flows with milk and honey. He said in verse 9, Only rebel not ye against the Lord, neither fear ye the people of the land, for they are bread for us. 
Their defense is departed from them, and the Lord is with us. Fear them not. So Caleb and Joshua said, these people are bred for us. Perception. They saw themselves as more than the people. They saw themselves more than the opposition. They had the right perception of their identity and their ability. They said, no, we are not grasshoppers. They are bred for us. They are bred. Listen to me. When you can learn to subdue your problem, then you can overcome it. If you keep exalting your situation, it will continue to get bigger. That was what happened here. The secret of overcomers, you must have the right perception of your identity and your ability. You are not a failure. Your identity, you are a son of God. You are connected with God. You have the spirit of God. You are not a grasshopper. You are a winner. You are not a loser. You are an overcomer. Get the right perception of your ability. You, are, you can do something. There is an ability in you. There are things you can do that you have never discovered you can do until you start doing them. I saw if you will develop right perception, you must have the right connection with God and right revelation from God. You must have the right connection with God and the right revelation from God. If you will change your perception, your connection with God will give you a perception of your identity and your revelation from God will give you a perception of your ability. And that's why I want you to understand that you need God. My assignment is to reveal God to you, to reveal yourself to yourself, and to release you to manifest in your world. That is why, as I round up this message, understand that you can overcome. You are born to overcome. You must win in life. Glory be to God. The Lord bless you. You shall overcome in the precious name of Jesus. You shall triumph and win. Nothing will defeat you. The situation is over. A new season for you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you so much for listening to this broadcast. I know you are blessed. And I know something more that you need to overcome. That's why I want you to be in the right atmosphere. You want to be where you can be steered up to develop your right perception concerning your identity and your ability. You want to be in the place where you'll be empowered to win. And that's why I'm inviting you to the Empowerment Center. I want you to come be a part of the move of God that is forming Christ and people, empowering people for destiny fulfillment. The information is right on the screen. Write the number down. Call the number on the screen. Get the door address. You can be part of any of our services, Sundays, 10 a.m. to 12 noon, and on Thursdays, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Come to any of the services. Come and be blessed. Come and be empowered. Come and take what it takes to rule your world. Connect with the presence of God. Connect with the presence of God. And swim in the atmosphere of God's power. The Lord bless you and keep you in the precious name of Jesus. And I want you to listen to more life-transforming messages on our 24 hours radio station online. You can connect with it, listen to messages that will bless your life on playingradio.com. The information is on, is on the screen. You are blessed. Till I come your way again, stay empowered and keep empowering others. God bless you. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Watch us every week at the same time for your moment of empowerment. Visit us online at wordrevival.org or call us at 972-639-1762. Or stop by and see us at 838 Secretary Drive, Arlington, Texas.